Before becoming an NFL star, Cody Ford was a Pineville Rebel dreaming about making it into the big leagues. Your typical like Hallmark high school football team, we would come in the locker room, um, stir things up, go on the football field, be, be brothers, be friends, and then uh, at the end of the day, we would always just compete. And we all wanted to win. We all had the dreams and aspirations of, you know, winning a state championship. After high school, Ford went on to play at the University of Oklahoma and then became the 38th overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft. It was a lot of surreal moments with that, mainly because when you come from, from like Pineville, you don't expect to end up in the NFL. I didn't even expect to end up at the University of Oklahoma, but life, life took its course that way. And I was there on draft night. I was overwhelmed with emotions, highs and lows. Ford currently plays for the Cincinnati Bengals and is excited to be able to give back to the central Louisiana community by hosting his third annual youth football camp. What I learned, like, practice every time, keep your head up, keep your head up, practice, keep on practicing, keep on knowing what you're doing, keep on listening, keep on getting focused. It's feel great, very. I was happy. I almost cried. <laughs> Ford and his team hope to make a further impact on the Sinlock community through his new nonprofit, Ford's Pancake House. He's the highest draft pick to ever come out of Rapids Parish. If you know a little bit about football, you know that whenever a lineman knocks a guy down, it's called a pancake. So therefore, Cody came up with the name of Ford's Pancake House. Look what he's done every year for these kids. And with the nonprofit, he's trying to expand what he does besides not just giving a camp every year, he wants to start doing backpacks for kids when the school starts. I mean, the thing about Cody is he loves kids, and that's his passion, so that's what he's pushing for. Reporting in the 318 for Five Sports, I'm Julia Keller.